of Diablo Ultimate Eve Edition on our favorite console, the PS4 Pro, guys. Yes, we are running in delicious 4K at 60 frames per second. Best version on console by far. It's a brilliant game, nonetheless, on Xbox One and last-gen consoles, 360 and PS3. PS3 is the console where I first fell in love with Diablo. It was the Reaper of Souls edition, which is, in fact, the DLC that comes free with uh, the Ultimate Evil edition. It is the ultimate version of the game, guys, so it's the definitive edition if you want to play all things Diablo. And seen here is my level 69 wizard. Now... I have beaten the standard game on normal. I've kicked Asmodan's ass, I've kicked Magda's ass, I've kicked Diablo's ass, and I've beaten Mithael, the Reaver of Souls, or Death as is known in his other form. It was an amazing experience, guys. This game is an epic game. It is a 10 out of 10 for me. Simply put, best looking dungeon crawler that I've played, on console at least. There are other games of this ilk on PC that look just as good. Uh, I'll do a separate video just, you know, to give a rundown. If you're a lucky PC owner, you must get those titles. But on console, the, it, it just looks exquisite. As you can see, look at this, man. The amount of detail, the beautiful lighting, the exquisite gameplay. The mechanics are fantastic. There's a myriad of options. And as you can see, you basically loot for treasure. And seen here, for example, is my Teaming Reaper, which is one of the uh, fantastic weapons that I got later in the game, just before I kicked Diablo's ass for the first time. And as you can see, the weapons get obviously more powerful as you gain, you know, as you power through the game. Now, I've set up my cats, as you can see, to have the experience points there, per se, so that I haven't got the most powerful build of my character, but I've got the most streamlined build that I can have for powering up, you know, versus power. Now, you've also got a skills tree, as you can see. You have your passive abilities and whatnot here. And these obviously open up as you rank up, you know, you power up the levels. Uh, at, when you start out, you start with a very basic set setup of your wizard. And as you can see, I mean, just look at me, man. I'm built for destruction. I am Nephilim, half demon, half angel. Uh, wizard variety. There are six other characters that you could play as within uh, this game. So all in all, is it worth? Is it a game worthy of your time? Of course it is, guys. You know, someone asked me the other day, should you get this game? Absolutely bloody yes. And further to that, they asked me which version should they buy if they got a console. Well, it's a clean, clear cut answer, guys. If you have console. The only version to, that you should consider if you've got a PS4 is the PS4 Pro version. But if you don't have a PS4 Pro, it plays beautifully on the standard PS4. And it is an amazing looking game. To say the least, it runs at 60 frames per second on standard PS4 and Xbox One for the majority of the time. So it's pretty smooth with the PS4 Pro winning hands down, obviously, due to the more powerful setup. Hi guys, hi King, hi Bob, hi everybody, and I'd like to say a very, before I get stuck into the game, I'd like to say a very quick thank you to all my fans and fangirls, we have smashed the 500 barrier, I've now got 502 subs, thank you so much guys, you guys made it possible, uh, so I really would like to say thank you, not a lot more than I can say except continue supporting my channel guys and please recommend my channel to all your friends on their social networks guys the more people that know about me the more people that get to share my videos then obviously I can hit a bigger audience I am a multi -plat gaming platform at the moment predominantly focusing on Xbox One One S PS4 PS4 Pro Wii U, Switch, last-gen consoles and handhelds, but I will be branching into the realms of PC gaming very soon. I'm starting up a new channel, guys, and also make sure you check out my retro gaming channel where I focus on last-gen consoles like the Neo Geo SNES, Genesis, PC Engine, PC Engine GT, Turbo Graphics, and the like, and also we'll be covering a lot of the old-school arcade classics guys of yesteryear so if you're lucky enough to be old enough to appreciate the old school arcade games by capcom sega etc then you must keep it locked 
on my channel keep an eye on the description portion of this video guys i'll have links for upcoming videos and like i said guys upcoming channels as well i'm going to branch out we must hit our 1000 k subs soon and that's all i have to say other than you um not a lot more than uh, more than you guys have just been amazing guys yo what's up Hayes? my boy Hayes, welcome make sure you go check out Hayes hunter guys he's a new guy help him you know grow his channel and please subscribe and give the little fella um a helping hand to grow bigger guys i i specialize in promoting other channels so if you're a smaller channel or any channel of any kind and you want to get a shot on my channel just subscribe to help support me to show your commitment stay active in the in the uh, comments guys please please stay active i do read i do read all um i do read all comments by everybody so make sure you make a recommendation because your game who knows maybe the next one that i upload next okay and hi to the lovely samantha jane she's been a fantastic fangirl and hi Hayes. And thank you to everybody. All right, guys, let's get stuck into the game proper now. Thus begins my part two playthrough of the adventure mode. Let, let's do this, guys. Right, so what we do... Let me just show you quickly. You have a stash. I've upgraded it to have 200 slots. All right, so my ne next upgrade will be 200,000. So, yeah, I have 5 million gold. So, yep. Yep, there we go, guys. We've upgraded to 240,000... Uh, sorry, 240 slots. So, plenty of gear in here. So, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm I'm storing the best gear that I pick up and I'm salvaging what's not as good with Eamon. Eamon here is the dude that basically makes stronger armor, as you can see, and he can make weapons. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to train the, the geezer to level 70. And, let's see... We can ask him to make all sorts of stuff, guys. Uh, the guys, there's no, you know, like from armor to weapons, etc. Now, what I like about Wizard is the fact that he's not as limited in terms of what he can carry. He can carry spears, he can carry swords and axes as well. He can carry some two-handed crossbows, but the majority of bows, which are one-handed, are more the demon hunter's speciality because they are... Uh, being hunters, they are the uh, characters that use the shadows and manipulate shadow magic to fight the hordes of evil. So they can't pick up swords or spears or axes. They're pretty lame, actually. But they're a pretty powerful character, guys. I mean, Dragoness has got a level 78 demon hunter, and she's friggin' powerful. Uh, we had a one-on-one -on -one tug in the arena part, and I thought I would have uh, beaten her, and she wiped the floor with me twice. But, I mean, she is... Tell uh, she's about, uh, I think, 12 or 13 levels higher than my current player. No, about 10 levels or so. So, I mean, that speaks volumes. So, let's make a level 70. Uh, where's the axe? Right, bear with me a second, guys. Oh, here we are. All right, and... All right, so we've reached the maximum rank of this artisan. Okay, so now all we got to do, guys, is go back. All right, let, let's see if we can make it 61. No, no. I'll leave it to until I get to level 70. Right, let's just jump straight in and let's go to... Right, we kicked Queen Arena's ass last night. Let's go and smash up the Skeleton King again. It'll be a laugh. Hi, Naga. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching and thank you for all the wonderful likes. Always nice to see new faces, guys. And thank you for the thumbs up. Really, really appreciate it, guys. You guys are the best ever. All right, let, let's oh, let's just pick, let's just uh. Still waiting. All right, let's go this way. Hi, Big Steph. How's it going, mate? Nothing. 
Not ready yet. Now, what I like about my wizard man, he covers the most area in terms of. As you, look, look at that. It's ridiculous, isn't it? How much area I could cover with one player. Need more Right, he got his ass whooped. Let's just go kill his minions. We call, I call his minions the under idiots, being that they're less powerful. Guys, have you have you guys played any games of similar gameplay to Diablo? Let me know in the comments, guys. What is your current favourite game? What game are you most looking forward to play this year? Come on, Hayes. Come on, Naga. Come on, everybody. Tell me, what games are you most looking forward to play in 2017? Me, I'm looking forward to the next instalment of Destiny 2 and the next installment of um the uncharted game the one that's coming with uh zoe i think being the lead character is looking good in the uh trailers what do you guys think if they actually put you know the ability to have bigger fire teams in destiny 2 and give us the ability to trade amongst ourselves like in a proper mmo then destiny 2 will be freaking awesome guys to me, Destiny really came in, into its own after the Taken King. That the Taken King was basically the game that the original Destiny should have been. Bungie should stop being bloody greedy and start giving us more game. Oh, the Treasure Goblin got away! Damn, he's Goblin Hide. That's a real shame, guys. I missed a shit ton of treasure. Now, apparently, if you manage to get in, kill the goblin and jump in the rift, you get taken to one of the many hidden treasure rooms. Uh, Dragonus and myself accidentally did it the other day. We were just playing f for kicks. I wasn't streaming because uh, my PC wasn't, uh, my internet wasn't working at the time. And all of a sudden, I killed the treasure goblin and jumped in the rift purely by accident. And lo and behold, we went into the Baroness's treasure room. And it was a massive treasure room that had, it was multi-layered and it went down into the depths. It had about three, four stories and my gosh, we got, I got over five million gold for killing her and a shit ton of treasure as well. Oh, cheers buddy. I oh, know I'm awesome. Thank you. You guys are awesome too. All right, let's go. Oops. Let's go this way. I do try and make my live streams fun, guys. So if you, you know, got a PS4 or Xbox One, why not subscribe today and just come and join me in a live stream of your favorite game? I'll dedicate the video to you. I'll give you a shout. And I'll make sure that you get more subscribers guaranteed can't say fair in that can i i like doing uh co-hosting on you know with other youtubers so guys if you're up for it if you're up for a laugh confident in your commentary then why not come and do a live stream today with me it's gonna be a hell of a lot of fun i promise all right have a shower of uh meteor death Look at these two idiot skeletons. Did you think you'd get away? Huh? Not on my watch, bitches. Not on my watch. Not ready yet. I don't have enough parking power. I'm oh my so god, they just I stab myself, I should do. Alright, let's have a look. Any more of this dungeon to do? Nope. Let's go to the skeleton. King's Crypt. My gosh, I've beaten this guy up so many times, it's just hilarious. The first time Dragoness and myself tackled this dude, she absolutely decimated him within literally 
But then uh, within about 30 seconds of him stepping on the scene, she just let him have it. And she was at the time a much higher level character, so what I did, I just distracted him. He put his back to her. And as you know, guys, you never put your back to a uh, fire-breathing dragon. Check this out. This is really neat, guys. Oh, okay. It's like that, is it? Need more time. I mean, look, guys. I'm gonna stand there. I need arcane power. That's 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 the limit of his magic. You know. See how quickly I regenerate as well. Still waiting. Need more arcane power. That's the only thing is, is that my my magic is very powerful, but it does use up a lot of arcane. Uh, power to to use Not ready yet. I could you know I, I, I need to experiment with a setup that that doesn't burn as much arcane energy to need more time all right let's hit him with a meteor Jesus Christ, come on, man. Oh, he's almost done. You know what? I'm not going to kill him just yet. I'm going to play with him because he keeps calling in skeletons and I could just keep killing him and... Basically, it will allow me to... to power up my EXP. You know what? That's it. I'll I just, I just let my Enchantress take care of him. I'll take care of these fools. You dare to attack me? I love the way my character says it. In a very condescending kind of voice. <laughs> Look at that, my, my double took care of him. And that was the end of the Skeleton King for about the tenth time. And I'd like to say thank you to Naga and to Hayes. You two are fantastic. To Don Don, Bob British, King David, Bob Sun, everybody in my stream. Thank you guys. And to the lovely Samantha Jane and not forgetting the incredible Don Don. Don Don. I just love that name. I love some of the names that you guys have. Very cool. All right. Let's venture deeper into the realms of the crypt. These are basically... Bounty, it's a, it's a bounty level. Uh, it's all about looting, guys. Looting and powering up. And once we hit level 70, we have what we call Paragon levels. So in a moment, I'll show you what that is. Just give me a chance. Give me a moment to take care of these guys. I've got my character set up, so... People doing melee basically get a percentage of their power taken for every hit they do on me. Right, let's uh, get here. Once we reach level 70... One second, guys. I'm just trying to find it. Uh, let's see. Is that... No, it's not more powerful than what I've got. So up. Yeah, I'll stick with that one for now. Right, here we are, guys, right? We've got to find Kanai's Cube to unlock this last one, so if anyone knows how to open, get uh, to find Kanai's Cube, please let me know. And once we reach level 70, like I said, we're going to unlock this, this level here, Paragon level. So that's a new part of the game, which I'm very excited to be able to do, probably in about very soon, because I've, I've hit level 69 anyway.
And I've yet to find better boots than the Blackthorn Spurs. So, yep, let's just stick with our current... Can we go this way? Uh, no, oh, it's blocked. Okay, so this way it is then. Oh, no, beg your pardon, guys. Sorry. Beg your pardon. The dungeons are quite big as well, so there's plenty to explore. And you'll know when you've been to part of the dungeon that you've visited because it will be outlined on the actual map radar bottom right. But when you go into a new section, it will be shown... Right, if you pull down on the D-pad there, you could call in your map. It will it will materialise on your radar. So if it materialises, it means that you haven't yet been there. Alright, let's go back into here. And another thing that I love about this game as well is just, just look at the level designs, guys. They are absolutely... Uh, meticulously crafted with a lot of love. I love Blizzard guys. Blizzard are, are one of my favorite soft codes and they also brought us the incredible um, PC, PvP, PvE, FPS shooter, uh, Overwatch Origins. Overwatch is one of my favorite games so if you haven't got Overwatch on your console yet, do pick it up guys and come and be fun of the live streams. I've got it on PS4 at the moment so if you have it on ps4 guys and you want to be part of my stream please do come and join me enough said all right let, let, right let's just go back to town quickly <laughs> all right we come back here so let's quickly go to our stash and what we do here, guys, we just have a look at, uh, well, a Apostle's Presage. It is a rare wand. Mm, does a reasonable amount of damage, so. Now, intelligence is our primary factor for our wizards and the uh, witch doctor because they focus on our arcane magic, etc. So, their attributes should be set more with intelligence as the prime factor. Dexterity is for the um, demon hunter and monk. And obviously, strength is the primary factor for barbarian and crusader, guys. It would be nice to have a future update with a few more warrior classes to play with, you know what I mean? Like Dark Elves and uh, Halflings and stuff like that. It's it's something that I'm currently discussing with friends on forums and hopefully Blizzard, you know, see fit to upgrade. Because I would love them to keep the Diablo franchise alive and hopefully we see Diablo 2, 1 and 2 coming as an HD update with a Diablo 4 in the mix. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys, uh, if you're... You know, you're waiting for a... Uh, you would like to see an HD Diablo 1 and 2. I, for one, would love to see it. No doubt. I'm a huge fan of this type of gauntlet stroke Baldur's Gates type of games. Fuck it, let's, let's have that one. I've never actually used the piercing spawn. Someone asked me the other day, uh, what is Thorn's damage? I think Thorn's damage is when they hit you, they get, uh, they get, uh, damage back. No. Alright, let's just go salvage these items. All right, that's that taken care of. Oh, Nephilim Obelisk, Rift Types. Oh, that's how I 
open on Netflix. All right, guys, let's enter our first Nephilim Rift. I was wondering how to do this, and someone said to me, you know, B Bob, you have to, uh... Then your trial begins. Cheers, Steph. Andy and everybody for... All right, here we go. Wow, they were quite tough. And as you can see, they use uh, this elemental type magic as well. Oh, look at this fat bastard over here. Need more time. I need arcane power. No. Jesus Christ, the betrayers, he's a tough bastard. Well, it wasn't until he met my might. Ooh, we got a we got a bow. Wow, that looks pretty powerful. Alright, eight experience points per kill and sixteen eighty six damage. That's pretty good. Oh, I see you could teach your blacksmith new powers. All right, that's different. So this is what a rift is. I was always wondering... I was always wondering what it what a rift was, but yeah. It seems that this is what a rift is, guys. Alright, let's have a look and see what the quest is. Kill the Nephilim Rift Garden minions, kill the Nephilim Rift Garden's minions until the garden... Alright, so we basically gotta keep kicking their asses until the big boy appears. Not so hard. We can do this shit. Not ready yet. Jesus Christ. There's a lot of dead spiders, man. A lot of dead spiders. Oh! Let's see our follower. See if there's anything more powerful we could give her. Look at this riff, man. This is beautifully done. I do love... I keep saying this, but the graphics on this game really are a 10 out of 10. They not only look great, guys. The, the attackers are interesting. The enemies are very interesting as well. And the magic effects that they use against you are very, very well done as well. It's a real joy to play, too. I haven't got bored of this game yet, and that's after pumping well over 200 plus hours into this game. Being able to, you know, buff out my character, develop them as I play, and also have fun with my friends is what 
the fun gaming for me is all about all right let's just rinse out their treasure oh we've got a gem and what i love about this game is guys a nice little feature is that people could leave and join at any time they so wish as well which is a real good thing all right Cabalis Conundrum level 2. I mean, look at the way this is designed as well. Oh, here we go. No? Oh, okay. Alright, I heard a treasure goblin. Damn it, I didn't mean to kill him straight away. I was trying to get him to open a rift and then kill him, but he took it he took it like a boss. Right, let's see what he's dropped. Alright, better intelligence but less experience, so we'll stick with what we've got for now. Oh, that's his bag, okay. Hmm. Please let me know what to play, play next, guys. Is there a game we want to see streamed on PS4 or Xbox One? Any title will do. Right, we've le reached level 70. Right, we've unlocked another passive skill slot. Excellent. I love doing this burning fire death on them. I am the master of the arcane elements after all. All right, let's have a look and see. Okay, so we've opened up another slot. So let's add one of these. Well, but I'm trying to... I can't afford that. Right, we haven't got no core points. 
just yet. So let's just assign uh, a passive skill then. Alright, sorry guys, I'm just trying to figure out which one to get. It's, it's unlocked all of them. Alright, let's try that one. Fuck it. What the hell. Alright, let's proceed. And thank you for your patience, guys. So I first started playing this back in the PS3 about three years ago and got hooked on it back then. Got my PS4 almost four years ago and yeah, it was one of the first games that I got. And what more can I say then if you like the dungeon exploration looting games, this is a must have game. It's one of the best ones actually, hands down. It won a lot of awards, I, don't, I can't think of one person who really didn't like this game. Other than some stupid little kid called CJ, but I mean, what does he know? You know what I mean? Oh, kick back. Still waiting. I don't have enough parking power. more time. What can I say about my character other than he's a one-man army unto himself? I need arcane power. And don't forget guys to go and check out the free to play games. There's a there's been a, uh, a couple of new ones added in there. I'll do an uh, upload, my next stream will be of a couple of the new ones that they added today, so stay tuned guys, awesome Bob, make sure you check out my channel, and please, please subscribe and turn on the notifications, notifications are important, otherwise you won't know when I upload, and since I upload practically every day, I wouldn't w want you guys to miss out on all the fun videos that I upload for you guys to enjoy. This is my let's play through of the Abelo Adventure Mode. This is the second one I've uploaded. So make sure you check out my part one. And make sure you buy the game today. £16 brand new from Amazon. On next gen consoles. And if you like this kind of game, go treat yourself guys. And another game kind of similar to this is Borderlands. Now Borderlands the Handsome Collection is the FPS version practical of this. Now the reasons why I draw similarities is because Borderlands is uh, similar to this in terms of the looting and as such. Oh we've got a load of nice treasure there. Alright that sword did look epic. Oh my god that's powerful. Woo! You know I'm gonna... <laughs> Alright, 126 experience per kill. Yeah. And let's give my follow that. I wonder if her having that allows me to continue having the, the reduction of, of all skills, cooldown of all skills. Oh well. Alright, 
let's 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 just try that setup very quickly. Well, getting 136 experience per kill is, is, is a huge, it's a huge jump for me. All right, where else haven't I been? No, we've done the map, so let's just exit out. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the gameplay, guys. If you enjoyed the fun commentary and informative information that I give. Please like and subscribe, guys. Really appreciate it. Not ready yet. Let's have a look at it. Oh, wow. Look at the sword. That is mad. Alright, let's have a look. Is there anyone else I haven't got on this map? No. To the exit we go. Ho Ho Silver. And all that jazz. Hi, Led Rude. Yes, I have, mate. I'm currently playing seasonal now. Hi, Lude. Led Rude. I'm playing season 10 as we speak, guys. I am returning to town. All right, let's go back to the town quickly, get rid of the stuff that I picked up and come back to this bit. But the answer to your question, yes, I'm playing the season now. If any of you guys got this on PS4 and you're playing seasons, uh, come and join me. As you can see, guys, I'm just keep I'm keeping the best stuff in here. Let's just see if that setup that I had was better than what, what I currently had. Oh, I see. Okay, so I kept it because of the extra points. All right. Well, let's just put that in my in my treasure. Okay, let's just uh, give Eamon all the, all the stuff that I want to salvage. Let's go back into the rift.
We're going to kick up the uh, Nephilim Guardian here. Wow, okay. Want to join my next stream of season 10 play? That's my PS4. If anyone wants to add me, guys, that's my PS4 tag. There you go, guys. Add me. If you play this game and you want to be part of my next stream, just add me. Subscribe to my channel, please. That's all I ask. I need more subs, etc. Still waiting. All right. And I'm going back on myself, guys. Sorry, I missed... I missed... Uh... Oh, that's where I've got to go. Ah, typical. We've got to go into the... Down and into the centre. Alright. I've realised where I should be going right now. This is like a spiral level. I've already completed this game, so yeah, this is like um, the adventure mode, which opens after you beat Act 5, guys. Once you kick Mithail's butt, you then get to open up a special mode called adventure mode, which is what we're playing now. Alright, mate, but what do you mean by high? Yo, what's up, Mr. Nugger? Oh, high difficulty, mate. The difficulty don't bother me. I'm pretty beefed up.